We're in full effect, Hitty Tuesday. Even though it's not Tuesday, it's actually Saturday. Let me flip this. Yep, I just got done with the gym. At the gym, I got a call from a colleague I used to work with. She's still a good friend of mine. Her boyfriend has a company that's looking to invest a lot of marketing budget over the holidays, so... He was like, do you know anybody that happens to run Facebook ads? She's like, ding, 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 mother... I got my homie Nicholas. That's what he does. We used to work together in a marketing agency, me and this girl that I'm friends with. I don't want to drop names. Finna make her a celebrity overnight. So I'm going to hop on a call at some point, probably early next week. It's Saturday right now, uh, probably Monday or Tuesday. I'm going out tonight because Steve's sister is moving to North Carolina um, like next week, I think. So we're doing like a going away kind of party. Then we're going out into Jersey City, probably end up in like Hoboken or the city. I don't really know, but uh, it should be a good night. Business is back. Business is booming as usual. Good luck to everyone in their week six fantasy matchups. We're still thriving. I just pulled off a big trade in fantasy. Hopefully it works out in my favor. Otherwise we're just living. Yeah, I had, uh, I had a good pump at the gym. The boobies are popping. My mom's in, in Vegas. Isn't that ab absurd? She was like, I, I was working yesterday at, like, at the table and she's walking around packing her stuff up. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, where are you going? She's like, oh, I'm going to Vegas for the weekend. And like, that's not like my mom. She's not like some <laughs> like crazy, like he is dating a guy who's like there right now. She's going out to meet him there for the weekend. And she had told me like two months ago and I totally forgot about it, but she hadn't reminded me since then. So I'm like, what the, f like, how is she gonna, I haven't even been to Vegas yet in my life and she's just going for the weekend. Like I, t I forgot about it. So I'm kind of jealous. So I need to turn up tonight a little bit in honor of that. My mom's like way cooler than I am at this point. It's ridiculous. I'm not going out till later tonight. Probably it's 1.30 right now. Probably won't head out until like 7.30 or eight. So I'm gonna get my head into the computer, get a bunch of work done. I'm gonna start prepping for the call I'm gonna have with my friend's significant other. Check out the website, see what kind of marketing ideas I can come up with and uh, you know, where I see, where I would see a campaign going. We didn't like start or anything. We haven't even gotten on an initial call, but you know, you have to be very prepped for these kind of things. If, Cause it's, it's a lot of money that they invest in. These are these people's businesses. It's their name on it. They don't want to put money, invest time, energy, sweat into things if you're not giving them 110%. So as in a position like mine, you have to give just as much effort as they are. And that's hard to do because it's not your your company. But at the end of the day, like the work I do is, you know, my name is on it. I also got another payment from uh, from YouTube. So this was from like early mid-September to I like 30 days, so a month. So early mid-October, which is, this is actually a lot more than I expected to, to get once, you know, once the summer was over, I figured the engagement would go down. But the views I'm still getting, if I put out a weekly video, I'll get anywhere between like five and 10,000 views on, on the video just for the week. So I guess I can probably expect a number like that each month throughout the football season. M might dip down a little bit as the, as the year goes by, but that's pretty cool. Cause that'll end up, I'll probably end up making an extra like 1500 to 2000 bucks a year on YouTube, just off the, uh, just from the summer and into the football season. And that'll pay for actually no, that won't, that'll pay for a little bit of the flight the round trip flight to Texas for Halloween. And then we got an Airbnb for the weekend, but honestly that came out to a shitload of money too. So it's just gonna be a real expensive weekend. Gosh darn. Ooh, I don't know what I like more right now. My side part from my hat here or these glasses. So I just got this package from a company called Fermo. Like Hardo, but Fermo. F-I-R-M. You know it's weird when you try to spell shit out and you forget it midway spelling. F-I-R-M-O-O. -O. They our glasses company. They reached out, told me to pick a pair of glasses that they have. They sent me a pair. I chose these ones. I kind of like them. I don't have any like clear glasses like this. I got my other Jeffrey Dahmer glasses, but those are those are like made out of metal. These are different. These are like a uh, different style. Kind of like a, they're plastic -ish style, but they're really nice actually. I like them. But they gave me a promo code to give to you guys. I'll insert it. It'll be down below in the description box. So will the website. I think it's Fermo, just Fermo.com with two O's. So you guys can go on there. I know it's the winter months, but probably the cheapest you'll find sunglasses right now. So you'll have them for next year. Head over to the website, use the promo code that's down below. If you have prescription, I believe they do prescription as well. You just have to enter the prescription on the website. It's in a cool little glasses case. It's like a map of the world. Actually, I don't even know if there's a map of New Delhi, India, maybe? Maybe that's where they're made out of. That's where the headquarters is. Anyways, go check out the website. Use the promo code. Buy one, get one 50% off, I think. I'm not really sure. They're not too expensive to begin with. Just drinking some coffee out of my, my poop cup emoji. Okay, so I mentioned uh, this weekend I was at the gym and a friend of mine, an ex-colleague, called me about a possible business opportunity, uh, a new client that's looking to get into the Facebook marketing. She gave me his contact info. I spoke with him, or I texted him this morning saying to let's set up a call. He looped one of his, I guess, web developer guys into the call. They wanted to get on today. I was more so, you know, thinking we can get on it later in the week so I could prep a little more, but 
they wanted to get it on today and I was like, what time? And they're like, how about now? I'm like, ah, do I really have a choice? No, it's fine. We're just going to get on, I guess. And but I'm looking over their website and I feel like this would be a great, great, great client. They have everything set up very well and it's a good product. It's a good service. So I'm getting on this call in two minutes. I also have another possible client call tomorrow which is Wednesday, yeah, it's Tuesday morning right now. No, it's Tuesday afternoon around three with someone um, that reached out to me via Upwork.com, which is like the freelance website I've mentioned before. I'm about to get after it, so. I, I stick to social media, so Facebook and then. Yeah, so the, the pricing sheet is basically, like I said, it's, it's the longer the time on the cheaper. All right, so the call went good. I just sent them over my pricing package via email, so I'm just waiting on them to uh, look it over, hit me back, see if it's a good fit for them. If it is, they'll probably want to hop up back on a call either today or tomorrow. They're like a, they sell a product that they're going to want in the market for definitely this holiday season. So the turnaround time, they're going to want a really, really quick turnaround time to get this thing going. So that's cool. Hopefully, hopefully it works out with them. Now I'm uh, printing out a few labels. I have a few more hats left to ship out. So if anyone still wants a dad hat, we still have a couple blue and pink ones left. I was uh, live streaming on Sunday and Steve was over and we went out Saturday night. So I was like, I had a bunch of people in the live stream. I said, if anyone could guess how much money, we checked our bank statements like at, as we were doing the live stream. So I was like, if anyone can guess how much money me and Steve spent on Saturday night, I'll send you, whoever gets the closest, I'll send them a hat. So two people, I don't really want to discuss how much money we spent while we were out, but I'm about to print out some shipping labels and send out two hats to the luck, <laughs> to the lucky winners. Shout out Ali, shout out Pusha T, shout out, I forget what his real name was. Uh, dude. It's about 3.20 Wednesday afternoon. I just finished the uh, fantasy video that I put out weekly. About 45 minutes long. It is uploading. I'll put that on YouTube in a little while. And I'm getting on a call in 13 minutes with a company. They're actually a media company, but they're looking to, I guess, outsource some of their social campaigns. Uh, they work with natural, organic, like whole food kind of uh, companies, which is kind of cool because that's in the health and fitness wellness industry. And I would love to get into that. Usually I don't work as like the middleman. I don't know. I'll get on the phone. I'll see what she has to offer. We're getting on, like I said, in like 10 minutes. So I'm doing a little more research looking at their website. I have a list of questions I need to ask to get more informed. Um, and yes, I do take phone calls with my shirts off because I work from home. You're lucky I have pants on right now or unlucky, depending on who you are. And that's it, so we just working. We work, 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 work. Like Riona. Hello, this is Nick. Hi, Nick, it's Shala Hebbets, how are you? Hey, Shala. Media consulting for companies that are in the health and wellness space, um, primarily natural food companies and uh, supplement companies. The degree that I want them to, and um, obviously I know that Facebook is you know changing every minute, and that there's, um, you know, a lot that goes like organically and Amazon, but they really want to move to their own e-commerce platform um, because they obviously get a much better return example. But we really want to start to you know build out a real presence for them and get some um, traction going on Facebook and social that can really. <laughs> What's up, homies and home mets? Let me close these windows for you. I'm on my way to the gym. It's Thursday around 4 p.m. What I've been doing all day? Basically doing only marketing work today. I've just been watching videos for educational purposes. You know, I'm in this spot where I'm working for myself and like I've said before, you know, I learned a skill that's valuable that not a lot of people know how to do. But me doing it, you know, it's not black and white. Marketing especially, it's it's hard, man. There's a creative process, there's a lot of outside the box thinking. And I don't have someone, a boss or a manager that I can rely on to help me, right? It's only me doing this all by myself. So I'm continuously having to put in the extra effort and the extra time and energy and investment into learning, right? And getting better, because you can't just stay stagnant. If I only knew what I've known for the last six months and I just stayed there, right, and I don't keep learning and I don't keep getting better, then I'm not gonna be able to adapt and I'm not gonna be able to become better at my job. 
So basically all morning I've been just reading articles and going through different Facebook groups and, oh Jesus Christ, and uh, watching different videos on YouTube, just free content. And that's like anyone could get that, right? If you're trying to learn something, if you're trying to learn a skill or really just learn about anything, man, the internet, it's a beautiful place. The interwebs are great. You could find literally anything. Put a little time and effort into researching and you could find anything you want in the world for free. I can guarantee you that. And if you can't, you can comment below and I'll fucking find it for you in about 10 minutes, I guarantee. So I'm on my way to the gym now. I have the podcast with fantasy football advice. There was another thing I wanted to do in this video, but I uh, I didn't, oh Jesus Christ, I'm about to get hit. Yeah. I didn't get to get it done in this video. I'm gonna start a 30 day challenge. And I want you guys to join me, whoever is watching this, but I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna say anything about it in this video. It's gonna start off tomorrow. So tomorrow morning is Friday, which will be next vlog, because I film from Friday to Thursday, and that's like the week prior. Starting off next vlog, we're gonna start a 30 day challenge. I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet, because it's gonna be different for each person. But I want everyone that watches my videos to join along with me, and I guarantee you, you will be happy about doing it with me. So, that's gonna wrap up the video. I'm gonna get a good workout in. I'm gonna go prep for the podcast tonight. This weekend is gonna blow. Tomorrow I start jury duty. Listen to this bullshit. I got I got summoned to jury duty. First time ever, I'm 25. I've not had any jury duty. I haven't had to do any of that shit. When I was younger, I was like, hell yeah, I can't wait to get on jury duty for some reason because I thought I was gonna be on like the OJ Simpson murder trial case and shit. Turns out like 98% of the jury duty you'd have to do is like, really boring, terrible shit. And I got someone to grand jury duty. So I have to go once a week for the next nine weeks starting tomorrow. I have no idea when, like what day it's gonna be on. I have no idea how long it's gonna take. Like I don't I don't know anything about it. I just know I have to go tomorrow. Cause if you don't go to that shit, they put like a warrant out for your arrest. It's ridiculous. So I have to do that tomorrow, Friday, Sunday. My grandparents are moving from their apartment in Brooklyn to their apartment in Florida, or to their house in Florida, because that's where they live most of the year. So I gotta help them pack up their shit to move. And we're going over there at like 7 a.m., so I don't, I can't really go out Saturday night. So Friday sucks, Saturday night and Sunday suck. This weekend's gonna suck, but we'll probably be productive because I'm not gonna be drinking and going out, which is kind of a positive. It's, it's kind of a dub there. And then next weekend, we head to Austin, baby. We're going to Austin, Texas for Halloween. Ooh, I didn't even think about that. I gotta make sure jury duty is not. If it's every Friday. Ah, shit. Uh oh. Eh, I'll figure that out. Don't worry. Anyways, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, please scroll down a little bit, give it the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll see y'all next Saturday. Peace!